The season is rapidly coming to an end. We have Watford in the FA Cup fifth round today. Can we get to the quarterfinals for the first time in this save? Only a few results to talk about since the last time we met, the first of which was a 2-0 home win against Portsmouth. Garansky and Bengua were two centre-backs getting both goals. Next up was a 2-2 away draw against Brighton and Hove Albion. They got a 91st minute equaliser to crush our hopes and dreams. Kazim Etem and Richard Granger had put us 2-0 in front, but um, a poor performance from us. Next up was a 4-2 away win against Crystal Palace. Kazim Etem with two, Ian Chapman with one, Jim Walker with one. I think we were getting beat in this game 2-1 as well until the 71st minute when we started the comeback. Great performance from Kazim Etem, two goals and two assists. And finally was a 5-2 home win against Middlesbrough. Ian Chapman with a hat-trick, Kevin Majaya with two and um, a very, very good performance. And that sees the championship table looking like this. We are currently eight points clear from Millwall in second and 10 points clear from Brentford in third. Automatic promotion is looking almost a certainty at this point with only eight games remaining. And we can't say anything for certain though. What we can say for certain is we're in the FA Cup fifth round against Watford. We'll also play a hole away from home in the championship as well. I would like to see what we can do in the FA Cup. Obviously, I think in the all pretty much all of our other seasons, we've come up against Manchester City and got knocked out. So FA Cup fifth round, there's a lot of the big sides still left and still a good few championship sides as well. Let's see how we'll get on. So this is how we're going to line up for today's match. Hugh Griffiths in goal, Harewood, Garinsky, Bengua and Endreka as our defence. Fiorentino's going to play in the deep line playmaker role with Kevin Majaya playing as the box-to-box -box midfielder. Etim Granger-Walker playing in behind Ian Chapman. So Watford obviously being a Premier League club, what are they doing in the league this season? So they are currently sitting 14th in the Premier League, not doing too bad. Birmingham, Huddersfield and Barnsley all clumped together, our former clubs, that's nice to see. Let's get to the kickoff and see how we get on. First highlight of the game comes four minutes in, it's Jim Walker bombing down this left-hand side, tries to get the cross in. Lopez marks him well. Watford give the ball away sloppily though and Endreka can bring us forward to Florentino. Jim Walker's in the box, he shoots. I thought he scored. Jim Walker with the corner. He plays it in back post. Ben Gewer's there. He hits the bar and it's cleared. 18 minutes gone. It's been a pretty positive start by us so far. And Etim pinches the ball in an advanced area. Goes... <sighs> Go to the back post, mate. 22 minutes gone. We have a throw in in their half. Don't lose the ball there. This would be very, very bad if we were to do it. Florentino, though, does well to retain the possession with the help of Ed Mejia. He switches the play to Harewood on this right-hand side, who bombs in, gets a back post, Jim Walker. It's nicked off his head by the Watford defender. They do manage to get it clear. Thankfully, Florentino is doing excellent work in defensive midfield in place of Ben Pearson. It's been a good signing so far since January. Jim Walker bombs down the left, plays it to Endrecker, gets past his man, plays him back post, at him to Granger. Oh, that would have been a fantastic goal, and it probably should have been a goal. Watford are all over the place. We are all over them. Jim Walker... Oh, he gets into the box. He's dispossessed by Lopez. And are Watford going to counter now after I've just dissed them? They certainly are. Kuli, Kuluevsky plays it in. I mean, you just knew it was going to happen, didn't you? Leeds nil. Watford won. Brian Firebeamer, his first eighth goal of the season. Oh, we've had plenty of opportunities. We give the ball away as well. Um, a decent counter-attack by Watford. And a decent goal. Disappointing to concede like that, but we are still on top in this game and hopefully that might wake our boys up and we might end up getting ourselves a goal. Florentino in the centre, plays the ball to the left-hand side for Endrek, who drives in and goes for goal. I've told you to shoot less often. Goal kick for Watford is given straight to Kazim Etem and he plays it to Chapman who can drive forward down this right-hand side, plays it back to Harewood, whipped into Walker. Jim, please. Corner for us. Walker is the man to take it. It's played in. Oh, I think it was Ben Gewer. It's cleared off the line. Comes back out to Walker, though. Harewood knocks it forward, but it's uh, cut out by Connell. Firebeam is in behind now. Long ball over the top. Two chances. Two chances for Watford and two goals. <laughs> I mean, we've been pretty sloppy in the final third ourselves, so we've only got ourselves to blame. But being 2-0 down really, really hurts after the performance we've done in the first half. Against Premier League opposition as well. Griffiths could maybe do a little bit better with that, but... It's not him to blame. It's our strikers. Florentino with the free kick. It's whipped in back post. Another chance. Another chance. 
And that's it for the first half, Leeds nil, Watford 2. A huge amount of work on to try and... Oh, and I've ruined the team talk as well. First highlight of the second half comes 60 minutes in. It's Watford with the goal kick and they give it away. And Ian Chapman can drive forward now. Come on, Ian. Nah. Only 20 minutes left in this game. Time is just ticking away. And I think it's unlikely we are to get the win in today's game. We're going to bring on Oscar Remberg on that right-hand side. We'll bring on Abia Ezzi on the left. Um, we'll bring on Tony for Ian Chapman as well. We might as well give him some game time, some match experience. I don't think we are going to be able to recover from this. Nine minutes to go. Caught a free kick for Watford. They go close. Another highlight now. It looks like Watford, ever since went very attack and Watford is suddenly back in the game. Ismail Esau, um with a decent shot, decent save by Griffiths. And by being back in the game, I mean... They are now actually starting to get themselves opportunities, which they don't score from. Corner. Corner plays it in. Garansky manages to get rid. Kazim. Uh, it's not Kazim. It's Ezier with a free kick. It is cleared. And Fia Bima, who's caused us problems all game, is doing this all himself. He gets past our defence. One last man to beat. He can't beat Griffiths. Final three minutes of the game. There is another highlight. It looks like it's going to be Watford again coming down this right-hand side. He's cut in. Plays about a corner. It's won by Ben Gua And Granger can try and set away a Bia Ezia. He finds Tony. It gets dispossessed though. Endreka picks it up. We've got plenty of options in the centre of the park. Florentino finds Majaya to Granger to Renberg. And again, son. Go on. There we are. Herbwood's on the right hand side. Whips it in. A Bia Ezia gets the goal. Three minutes. Can we get another in three minutes? No, is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> 33 shots and 6 on target. I think that might well be the worst shot on target ratio we have seen for quite a while. Unfortunate to lose the way we did. Um, they were Premier League opposition, so it was always going to be difficult. But um, I thought we would have won that. I really did. We've got Hull City next, so we need to pick ourselves up and get ready for the championship game. They are currently sitting in 11th. Um, we are away from home, though, so it's going to be a tough game. Hoping to bounce back against Hull, we play pretty much the exact same side. Let's see if they can perform a little bit better in the final third. Highlight straight from kickoff. Come on, boys. Make this the game we score in 30 seconds. Granger tries to whip it to Walker on the left-hand side and gives the ball away. Um, this might be a Hull opportunity. No, no, it's not. Ian Chapman nips in. Go on, son. Bury this. Mm. Chapman is the man who's going to take the corner. He whips it in back post, Ben Gua. It's just nipped off his head and Hull City are going to break with Bruce coming down the left-hand side. We do get men back in numbers pretty quickly. McCochran finds back space on the right-hand side. of the Awful pass. 16 minutes in, we have ourselves another highlight. Hull have the ball in their own half. Can we please pinch it? No, we can't. Lewis Potter is now a ways in behind. Griffiths with a stranger's save. Um, I've seen this episode. 25 minutes in, Endreka brings the ball down the left-hand side for us. He gets held up by two Hull City players. He does manage to retain possession, though, which is good. Majaya switches the player to eat him on this right-hand side. Whips it in. Walker's there. Oh, Jim, please. We're not keeping possession very well in this game, so we are going to drop ourselves from an attacking team mentality back down to a positive. Florentino loses out of back, and he can drive forward down this right-hand side for Hull City. He hasn't really got many options in the box. He goes for goal himself. Griffiths with a decent enough save. Um, we are going to drop the tempo a little bit from our in our play. Um, I'm not liking the way this first half is going right now. 40 minutes in. Come on, Chapman. Bury this. Top bins. He shoots. Ah, it's a good save for Rodak. Why didn't he go to the other side? The other side was the one to go for. We'll stick with the corner though, just in case. Oh, Ben Gua goes close. And that is going to be all she wrote for the first half. Disappointing. Um, not really happy with how things are going out there. Hopefully a kick up the arse in the half time. We'll see our boys come out a better side in the second. Endreka on the left hand side. Drives in. He's got three men in the box there if you want to find them. He goes back to Florentino. Who finds Gibbons. Who finds Etim. Etim. Kazim. Let's call him Kazim. 25 minutes still to go in this one. We are going to start going attacking again. Three points is what we need out of this game. Not one. 15, gear, uh, 15 games. 15 minutes left. Chapman with a corner. 
it's played in, it's cleared by Apple Halmer, comes out to Kevin Majayu and keep our attack alive. Garinsky to Granger. We've got two men over here, Walker and Chapman. Florentino. Chap uh, Walker's pass to Kazim is decent enough. Ball's played into Walker. Oh, he gets his goal. Thank God for that. His 16th goal of the season. Kazim with the assist. I did think the goalkeeper was going to make the save, but uh, Rodak cannot keep Jim Walker's header out. We will take that all day. 1 0 up with only 15 minutes to go. We've dropped back from the attack and back to a positive. He's pretty fortunate there, I think. Rodak should probably do a little bit better with that. We will look to make our changes now. Um, Jim Walker, man who got the goal, is going to come off for Ebia Ezia. Kazim's going to come off for Oscar Renberg. And who's not on the great? Ian Chapman's not on the great game. We'll bring on Tony. We'll bring on our new signings, try and get them some game time. Not the ideal situation to chuck them in 1 0 up within a tight game, but um, we've got to chuck them in somewhere. Endrega to Granger. Back out Endrega. The ball's whipped in. Renberg to Ezia. Abia Ezia gets his 12th goal of the season. His second goal in two games as well. Coming off the bench. And he's been a fantastic player for us. Um, playing in the squad depth sort of role. Probably deserved more game time than I've given him. But um, he's 29. <laughs> I can't give him that much. Only a minute to go of normal time. Endreka coming down the left hand side. He's stopped. He goes back to Florentino who finds Granger. And that is the strangest pass I've seen from an attacking midfielder. Straight all the way back to the goalkeeper. Inviting all sorts of pressure. Please just boot it, Griffiths. Thankfully, we maintain our composure and ignored me. And we find ourselves coming down the left-hand side again with Endrega. Can he whip it in? He does. Majaya! Yeah, that's it. He's not offside. I don't think he is. That's his seventh goal of the season from central midfield. He has been... Average rating-wise, not the best player. Um, but I think from when we have seen him come into his own, he's been absolutely fantastic in the centre midfield. Just being our little workhorse and popping up with a goal every now and then. Seven for the season's not too bad. And that is going to be it for the match. Hull City th uh, nil, Leeds United three. Good result. And after that win, it looks like Millwall dropped points in the previous game because we are now 10 points clear in top position. We are also guaranteed playoff spot now, which... Um, that's nice. That's good. Seven games remain of this season, though. The next episode will, of course, be the end of season. We have Brentford away from home. That will be the match we come back to. They're currently sitting third, so it could be a crucial game for maybe us, but probably them. Um, and I will have to see you there. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.